Okay, now let's take a look at uh, security settings in Internet Explorer version 8. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about this first thing some of you might have seen if you did an upgrade before you came over to Windows 7. Um, and that is uh, this thing called compatibility features or compatibility view. We'll talk about some enhanced privacy features to make sure you understand what this uh, in private browsing is all about. We'll talk about some smart screen features to help get away from the phishing sites and some other security features that are built into Internet Explorer 8 to try to give you a, again, a safer uh, way of being able to work with and, and uh, go out and view the Internet. You know, how much better can it be to be able to sit here and make a demo on how to use a web browser? So uh, that's because I get to go see the news and do some other cool stuff, but I'll try to stick to the uh, topic at hand, which is uh, working with Internet Explorer's security features. Now, if you open yours up and you don't have this menu bar, which you might not, all you have to do is right click anywhere in the menu area and click on uh, menu bar and you'll get this uh, information to show up. I'm going to go to the tools and uh, hit down here with the uh, with the uh, compatibility view settings first. And uh, remember, if you ever have issues with uh, websites that uh, need to be displayed in the compatibility view, you can just add those websites in here. And that would be websites, of course, developed maybe primarily for a, an earlier version of Internet Explorer or some other uh, browser, perhaps, that you want to have that type of translation done to uh, make it easier for you to see those sites. Now that's not necessarily a security issue, but it is just kind of nice to know that you can, uh, you can deal with that. The next thing under tools is the internet options. Now in the internet options, I think a lot of what you uh, will see here will probably look the same as uh, what you've had in the past. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the uh, browsing history and click on delete. And you notice that it uh, says, okay, well, here's your browsing history. And what does that really mean? Well, there's this new setting that we didn't have in IE7 called preserve your favorites website data, which says keep your cookies and temporary files that are from the favorites, but we can get rid of all of these other temporary files, cookies, and histories. And the purpose of that is, is if you are maintaining your favorites, is that you can still have them readily available in your history, speed up the uh, opening of a page by caching files, and it makes life just a lot easier. Now you can, uh, if you really want to have fun, you can wipe out all the passwords that are stored. Um, I'm not a big fan of storing my passwords in my web browser, uh, just because I've, I've seen so many tools that can uh, extract that information if you're not careful. But I know there are a lot of people who do that, so if you erase those passwords, you might have a lot of fun making them mad. Also, in private uh, filtering data, this is data that's saved in the in private filtering. Uh, that is used to uh, detect uh, whether websites might be sharing information about your visit. So uh, that, uh, if you want to get rid of that data, you can. That's different than the in-private uh, use of the web. All right, so those seem like great options. I'll choose Delete. And it uh, will go through and uh, get rid of all of the history, all of the, um, all of the uh, cookies and things that people might be using against me. Now, in this realm of uh, Internet options under security, we still have the ability to change the default types of settings for the different types of zones. And uh, unless I can think of some really outstanding reason why, uh, I would leave these as they're set uh, rather than making them any higher or any lower. Uh, medium high works well enough to make sure that every uh, ActiveX control is at least signed, that you're prompted for any potential uh, bad sites, and it seems to be, it probably is a, is a pretty good choice for you to use. Uh, local internet, we try to uh, give that a little more credit that it's uh, okay. And if I have a trusted site that I've, uh, that I've said is trusted, then of course anything that's in those sites, click on sites and I can add them, something like being in there, uh, then uh, again, we can then circumvent the uh, permissions or the security level that would have otherwise been in the internet or local. Okay, so I'm going to click on uh, OK to keep those uh, options in there. Uh, don't forget that there's also the in-private uh, browsing as an option as well. And uh, what we're going to do here is um, uh, look at how to manage and work with, the, uh, with that type of an, an option as far as uh, using the private type of browsing. So we're going to go to the uh, Tools menu again. And in the Tools, uh, we're going to um, look at the in-private browsing. Now notice your hotkeys are Control-Shift-P. 
When I go to in private, it gives you a little bit of a tutorial about what's happening. But this basically means that all of the temporary files, all of the cookies, all of the history, and anything else you're doing are all disabled. So that none of that uh, historical information will be left. Uh, you won't be leaving any traces of where you've been or where you've gone because you are in private at this point while you're doing your browsing. Now, uh, in the, that case, then, of course, uh, if I start uh, going to any certain locations, if I, again, even go to Bing, and I'm working in private, which it still tells me that right here in this toolbar that I'm still in private. Uh, and if uh, after that I uh, go to um, any number of uh, other sites, I guess we are, are talking about Yahoo and Microsoft working together. All right, so I've got all of these things that I can uh, put together. And when I'm done with, uh, with my browsing in private, uh, if I were to uh, come back and look at the uh, results of uh, IE, so let me close this down. If I were to look at my history, close this one down, open this back up again, I shouldn't see any of that history here in this uh, uh, drop down, which I don't. Uh, if I wanted to um, go and try to view again any of the any of the things that we do to try to look at the history or even the uh, the temporary um, uh, areas again, as I talked about before, right? If I look at favorites and I go to history and I click today. I just see the Bing that I've gone to as my home page, but I don't see Yahoo. So that's what it's doing is uh, in private. It's just making sure that whatever you do um, is isolated. It's not seen. It's great if you're using a publicly shared computer. It's great if you're worried about um, uh, hackers stealing or, or marketing you based on the uh, different types of cookies that you have. All of it was designed to give you a better, safer browsing uh, experience.